Hello guys and welcome back to Gran Turismo 4 uh, where today I've decided that I think it's time that we take on the A license tests. Um, after we had a bit of a struggle in the last episode um, I, we don't really have many many options open to us. We don't have many events open to us and especially not many that we can actually perform well in. So I think let's do the A license test that's going to open up the special condition races for us. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to head jump straight into that um, we're going to start with complex corners beginner one in the FTO GPX um, yeah thank you so much for the support in the series so far guys um, like so we're going to jump straight into this um, and yeah it's been it's been great sorry that the the last episode was a little a little long-winded let's take this corner here but yeah it was was tougher than I anticipated you know like the you never remember those struggles when you're looking back on a game like this oh, this car is understeering quite badly through here um, yeah you never remember how how tough it was um, there we go, that'll get us our bronze yeah especially starting out in this game it can be a it can be a bit of a struggle it can be a bit can be a bit intense um, I mean once you once you start getting enough money and you can you know really tune the cars up to the maximum um, it does make things a little easier as we head into complex corners in the Lotus Elise beautiful little car this and really handles very very nicely as well I'm completely missing my apex around these corners A little nearer in. Right and across the line for what should be the bronze that we need. Oh, it's a silver as well. Like I said, we'll probably end up going back to um, to try and you know get all silvers or all golds on these tests. I might just do that off camera. Um, you know, I'll just show you guys possibly just the the successful tests um, you know so I'll, I'll chop that episode up a bit show the the actual successful runs on each of them and show what the show what the prize car is so I'm sure you guys don't want to see me fail over and over and over again Whoop. all right as we take a, a bit of a, a wide line into that corner understeer is not our friend yeah I do love the shape of the um, of the Mitsubishi Eclipse it always makes me think of the movie Too Fast, Too Furious. Slow down a little there. And we'll take our bronze. Alright, next test. Alright, so we'll be tackling high speed corners. And we'll be doing that in the Subaru Legacy. In the final high speed section of Suzuka. Absolutely love this track. We're going to understeer a little too much into here. We're going to hold it. Yeah, we'll hold the back end. Not too bad. That's another bronze for us as we head into test number five. Making swift progress. Easy enough when you you know when your your aims are low. Alright, so one lap guide run. These always have the potential to just be so terrible. Just purely because of that um, that safety car in front of us. You can just completely wreck a run, especially when you're going at high speed into a slow corner, you can just completely block you off. Carrying too much speed through these corners. Really understeering there, missing the apex. Fair amount of speed through here. Whoop, carrying too much, too much. Yep. All right, let me slow my roll a little. 
fair amount of understeer in this Audi. And I'm probably trying to carry way too much speed through those corners. Let's treat the A3 as it deserves to be treated. Let's give that another go. Let's grab the curb on the way out. Just a little understeer through there. Definitely a better line than the first time around. We've got these few high speed bends here. Let's try and grab that slow down a little here so that we can. There we go. Much, much neater, much tidier. Little cheeky cut of the corner there. Not too bad, that. Happy with those few corners. Yeah, I slowed down a little more than I should have there. Should have started turning a little earlier into that corner. Always easy to spot the mistakes in hindsight. As we head into the home straight, that should be our bronze. Yeah, not too bad. About a second, 1.2 seconds off the silver. No, not retry. Exit. Now let's head down to test number six. Our complex cordons, intermediate. Ooh, and a beautiful SLK 230. Got the top down, feeling the wind on our helmet. Throw it into this corner. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, not a great turn, that. Yeah, I think we properly messed that up, but I mean, I'm going to push through anyway. See what we're expecting later on. And to be fair, we might have gotten the bronze, which is all we need, really. And yeah, almost the silver. Very nice. Let's head into the next test. So yeah, so once we've got the, the A license, um, that opens up a race for us um, on, I forget what it's called, Costa de Amalfi, something like that. One of the one of the special event races, where if you do that race, you get a, um, you get a car which you can sell for a ton of money. Um, I'll say a ton of money, it's, it's a few, I think it's a couple of hundred thousand or 160,000, something like that. We get another bronze in the Gulf. Um, and yeah, that really helps out a lot. I remember doing that every time I did a playthrough of the game. As soon as you get that A license, you just, you, you know, usually I'd start the game with something like a Subaru or an RX-7, um, as we head into applied cornering in the RX-8. Um, and yeah, and it's it's really, it's, it's pretty simple. You do two, ra two uh, two races, same track, just um, straightforward and, and one again uh, mirrored. Um, each of them is two laps, if I remember right. So within around around 10 minutes, you're getting this car that you can resell. Add another bronze. Um, so yeah, so we might, we might end up doing that. Um, but I'll show you guys whatever I buy with that. I'll, I'll do any grinding of that track off camera. It's just gonna help us to oh coffee break. Mm. Um, yeah, it's just gonna help us to speed things along a little. Right, so let's try this coffee break out now. I, I always hated these when I was younger. I mean they're fun, but they're a bit of a pain as well. I mean, I guess that would probably be a little easier if you were doing this with the wheel. As I almost lose my control there. Can't quite get the... Oh, missed a couple of cones there. We're going to have to go back for those, most likely. Did we get them? Yeah, that's okay. 
I'll take that eight seconds off the silver, but. And I don't, I don't quite remember. I don't think you need to do the. Um, I don't think you need to do the coffee break for the. For the prize cars, like so, if you're getting going for all silver or gold, I don't think you need the gold on the, on the coffee break. I don't quite remember. At least I hope not. The Civic Type R is looking quite beautiful on screen, actually, as we <laughs> understeer way off track. Back on Suzuka again. Absolutely love the Civic. Such a cool little hatch. Let's throw it into this corner. Go and carry as much speed. That old saying, if it looks slow, it's fast, right? Oh, come on. Ugh. All right, third time lucky. Just make sure we hit that apex. Throw the car into this corner again. All right, we get the bronze. Again, I'm generally on my on my first attempt, so I feel like I'm often close to the silver. The gold is always a lot of a lot of grinding, you know, a lot of comparing yourself to that ghost. All right, so full lap of Suzuka. So we're looking at a bronze time of three minutes. So this is going to be a long track to do in this. Um, the, what is it, the Honda RSX? Looks like the Honda, yeah. So not the Acura. And this game still looks so good. Um, and obviously you can see some of the jagged edges, PS2 hardware, but every time I play it, it just, you know, it astounds me that this PlayStation 2 game. What Polyphony was able to do with this was absolutely incredible. Just the amount of content and how great the game looked at the time. And there was really nothing to match it. Um, I mean, I know that there was, I think around the same time was when the first Forza Motorsport came out. But I, I never tried I never tried that one. My first, my first real playthrough with Forza was, um, was on Forza Motorsport 2. And I played that on, on Xbox 360. And that was an absolutely great game. It was fantastic. Whoa, whoa, let's not go off there. Yeah, before Forza came along, just Gran Turismo was the, you know, the bee's knees. It was just, it was absolutely fantastic. It was the, the, the racing game that everyone wanted, or the driving game that everyone wanted. I know the polyphony calls it a driving simulator rather than a racing simulator. But it was just the, it was the pinnacle of, of simulation racing. At least as far as I'm aware. If there's any others that you guys know of, of around this uh, this time period, please let me know. I've seen a lot of people talk about um, Richard Burns Rally. I've heard that that's, that was a really great game from, you know, around the mid-2000s. But I, I never really gave it a shot. I was always a PlayStation, PlayStation fan. I don't know if Richard Burns ever came out on PS2. And if it did, I've, I've never seen it. But I'd imagine, I, I think it was more of a Windows... Microsoft Windows exclusive. So so far so good on this uh, on this hot lap. We are heading into a bit of a, a high speed section. So let's hope that our our friend in the Skyline Pace car doesn't set us off too much. As we head into this low speed chicane. Probably slowed down more than I needed to there, but better safe than sorry. Alright, so it definitely won't be a silver. Let's hope for the, yeah, for the bronze. Clean enough for the bronze. Alright, so heading into license test number 11 and we're making some some good progress. 
very very good progress much more successful than the last episode I mean I know that the <laughs> did we just drive over that guy nice and applied dirt driving oh <laughs> okay fail let's try that again it's Lancia Delta yeah much more successful than the last episode at least the the pace is uh, is moving still which is great <laughs> A lot of unsuccessful attempts in the last episode, unfortunately. And it's easy enough to shoot for the bronzes. I feel like there was a little bit of slowdown on that on that track. Again, with the emulator, there are some tracks and some sections of tracks which you know struggle along a little more than others. So I'm sorry about that. Impreza looking beautiful as well. And the only color in Impreza should be. It's iconic Subaru WRX blue. I don't know what the... Ugh. Fail. I'm no Colin McRae, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the actual... You know, the official name is for it, but... This is the, just the color that epitomizes the Impreza. It's the color that I think everyone... Everyone would want their Impreza to be in. Oh. Lucky to not get DQ'd there. Throw it around this last corner. Oh well, second to last corner. And across the line. Alright, next test. A13. Attacking blind corners at Trial Mountain. Old school Skyline, R32. Too much power through there, way too much. Far too heavy on the accelerator. And again. Terrible line through there. Oh. Mountain extended out a little further than I thought it did. We didn't get the DQ, thankfully. Throw ourselves into the tunnel. So yeah, we're probably not going to be anywhere near the silver on that run. I don't even know if we're going to be near the bronze, to be honest with you. Nope. Alright, so five tenths of a second off. <laughs> and the ghost boy gets left behind. Not too sure why the ghost doesn't work on the um, on the emulator. I've tried to figure out why it just stays behind there and I don't know, I, I can't find anything on it. Managed to fix the other issues, but yeah, that's one of them which just doesn't seem to work for some reason. That's okay. It doesn't really detract from the overall game experience. It's just going to make it a little harder when I'm... You know, if I do decide to try and go for those silvers and golds. Because I'm not really going to have a reference point. I usually try and, you know, beat my own ghost each and every time. And without that reference point, it's going to be hard to know, you know, are you improving, are you not improving. Okay, almost at the end. A 14, 15 and 16 to go. One, uh, one lap challenge in between that, obviously, at A15. As we take the Audi TT on the Nordschle Nordschleifer. It's a mouthful, that. The Nürburgring. Much easier to say. Not to be confused with the, the Formula 1 rendition of the Nürburgring. It's the full... Ugh, understeer. Too much power, whichever it is. Yeah, the full rendition of the Nordschleifer. And there must be quite... Quite something to be able to go and take a car around this track and just absolutely beat it. Beat it around there.
I'm sure it must be quite intimidating as well. I, mean, I can only imagine what it's like actually throwing a car around this track. I think it has to be one of the most intimidating tracks in the world. It's just so tight. Ugh. As we understeer into that corner again. Yeah, it's just such a tight track. It's you know, extremely windy. We've got a lot of elevation, a lot of bumps. It's just famously a very difficult and very deadly circus as well. I get a better line into these corners. Right, much smoother through there. Far too slow through there, but the entry line wasn't very, very good. Should be enough for the bronze. Closer to bronze than silver, unfortunately. That's all we need. All right, A15. One lap challenge. I don't remember where the, where the one lap challenge is. Trial Mountain. Oh, this is where we take this... Is it the Sayer that we're using? What do we use around Trial Mountain? Mazda 6. Yeah, so slow and steady through here. Don't want any unnecessary DQs. This was one of the um, you know original Gran Turismo tracks, one that was designed by Polyphony that I never really liked all that much when I was younger, but it's definitely grown on me as I've gotten older. I mean, you've obviously got the, the Apricot Hills, which are... I love Apricot Hills, I hate... Oh, I love um, Deep Forest Raceway as well. I think Deep Forest would be my favorite of the, of the Polyphony original tracks. Yeah, Trial Mountain is, has definitely grown on me. I, I, I like the idea of, of original tracks in games. I mean, obviously it's good to have the, you know, true real-life tracks in there. You know, places like Laguna Seca, Silverstone, Suzuka, um, Hockenheim. But late on the brakes there. Um, but yeah, it's nice to have the, the original tracks, and especially ones which return in series, you know. You know, seeing them evolve throughout Gran Turismo is is really great. It just gives the games their own little identity as well. And some of them it does make you wish that it was a real life circuit. You know, to be able to see some, some motorsports taking place on some of these tracks would be really, really cool. I mean, that would be a bit of a pipe dream, but imagine how cool it would be. Someone should finance that. We throw the Master 6 through the last few corners. Not a bad lap. Not great, but not bad. Alright, final graduation test. Alright, so we're back on the Nordschleifer. Oh, in an RX-7, what a beautiful car. This is just timeless, timeless design. Absolutely love the features on the RX-7. It's one of my, my all-time favorites. I'm a sucker for a good Japanese tuner. I mean, this is really from the heyday of, of Japanese tuning. I mean, this shape originally started in 1993, I think. The shape of RX-7. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and yeah, went all the way to the early 2000s with the Spirit R. Also, what, around 2003, 2004 was the last Spirit R. Something like that. I might have my, my dates wrong, but I know it's somewhere around those around those times. So, I mean, it's a, it's a decade of RX-7. Whoop. Let's bring that back under control. Fairly proud of that, if I do say so myself. 
not to blow my own horn. Let's keep it together across the line. And I say I'm proud of it, it was just a bronze, but oh well. And there we go, so we are the proud owners of a National A license. Look at that, BL Retro. This confirms you've acquired the license below. A license, A license race events can now be entered. Right, and we'll get our one prize car for all bronze. And that is the Pontiac Sunfire GXP Concept. Right, and I'll take that. Only the one silver. I mean, that wasn't the main goal going into this. With 7,000 credits in the bank. And that is going to open up for us the special condition events. So all of these require A licenses. So this is the Capri Rally Costa de Amalfi that I was talking about earlier. So this uh, this race gives you, I believe it's the Toyota uh, Raid car, RSC Raid car. Um, and that sells for a lot of money. So possibly in the next next episode we will tackle these, um, these A license events. And I'll look at possibly doing that. It's just going to help us to, to get that injection of money that I think we're going to need, um, you know, going forward uh, so that we can start buying cars that we need for, for all the beginner events and things that we're missing. Stuff like the front wheel drive, uh, um, rear wheel drive challenge, four wheel drive, mid engine. Um, so yeah, but I'm, I'm looking forward to that, guys. Uh, so as we head back home, we see our green machine in the in the garage um, and yeah 1.6 percent done with the game still a very very long way to go um, thank you for joining me in today's uh, a license events guys I, I tr like i said tried to shorten it a little thank you for sticking around with me to the end um, and yeah i'll see you guys in the next episode where we will be doing some more races and winning more cars hopefully so uh, yeah please remember to hit like subscribe uh comment if there's any cars in particular that you'd like to see me um to see me by and uh yeah subscribe if you want to see more content and thank you so much for all the support and i'll see you guys then thank you so much cheers bye